What up, peeps? DTV presents In the House. We're going to be rocking one of our fantastic movie reviews. Uh, this one, I know certain ones just, they tickle the fancy, and I'm like, I got to let the peeps know. Got to let the peeps know when there's a diamond in the rough, and you guys got to dig it up, crack it open, and then you get to keep that diamond in your DVD shelf. Uh, this one, Grand Isle, as you saw in the, the picture before. Nicolas Cage. Okay, trust me, I know. I've bought... I mean, I'm a Cage fan, I'm plus, you know, a movie buff mixed with a Cage fan. I'm buying every movie he makes, regardless, you know, it's just going to come out on video. And I would say 9 out of 10 are just not worthy of the collection. I usually bring them back to FYE, trade them in, get a store credit, snag something else. Uh, but Grand Isle, that is staying in the collection. You're going to see it at Best Buy, you're going to see it at Target, you're going to see it at Walmart. Snag it, bag it. Uh, throw it in the collection. I mean, if you see it on Netflix, sure. If that's not your thing to buy them, then obviously click on it, watch it, enjoy it. Let's give you a little thing about the movie. Like, what the hell is this movie about? Nicolas Cage looks like a freaking pedophile on the poster. And he, and well, he's not a pedophile, but he is creepy as all hell, which uh, is perfect. You want, um, I don't need Cage to always be, uh, you know, being Castro Troy face off, giving crazy faces and screaming and all that stuff. A lot of movies like, uh, what is it, Mandy and all that stuff, they try to, they try to do that. They think that's a strong point. No, man, let the, the, he was killing it as a creepy dude in this one. He's a creepy dude. He's married to a very, 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 uh, sexy lady. I, I don't know what her name is. It's like basically Nicolas Cage and Kelsey Graham are in this movie. All the other people are nobodies. No disrespect, but we, nobody knows who you are. Yet, goals, people. Uh, so you got Nicolas Cage, creepy dude, hot wife, and this guy who came over to fix their fence. A hurricane comes. This guy can't leave. His car won't start. Brutal hurricane. He's staying in the house overnight. And uh, craziness ensues. That's for damn sure. But it's such a good collaboration of this guy who's stuck in this house because he just, he can't leave. He thinks they're kind of normal. He knows they're a little weird, but he thinks they're kind of normal. And then Shiz just gets bonkers. You got Kelsey Grammer as uh, the detective who's, you know, kind of all throughout the film in the interrogation room, chatting it up, not gonna ruin nothing. And, uh, you know, Kelsey's kind of a throwaway part. I don't really need him, but it's cool to get him in there. And then, uh, yeah, it's, it's a cool flick because you don't know what's really gonna happen next. Uh, atmosphere is cool. I like when you just have basically three people in a, you know, in a building very Saw-esque where you can just get a small little cast, lock them into a place, and make it dope. And that's what this movie does. Plus, it's hot because the wife makes it hot because she's got some evil intentions and she's trying to flirt with the dude, Nicolas Cage, being this vet who's uh, drunk, smoking mad cigars throughout the movie. If you love cigars, you're gonna love cigars. mad cigars, okay? And I don't know, Nicolas Cage, he makes it cool. I wanna smoke a cigar while watching this film because he makes it dope. So, uh, yeah, I mean, for a movie to make me wanna smoke a cigar, I think that's something right there. So, you got an awesome flick. Definitely, if you saw it, comment below. I wanna get views. I don't think you can say this movie sucks. I, I did watch some other videos, and people are like, oh, it's Mitsuoka. It's a Mitsuoka suspense thriller. Okay, I don't know. That was the voice of the people that I saw who did it. And um, they're totally wrong. They don't like badass films. And that's what DTV does. We we love badass films. And if it's badass, I love it. And I want to tell you guys to watch it. And it's just got to be cool. That's what I want. I don't need a movie that's like, oh, uh, uh, the script was, it wasn't great. Like, they don't, people don't talk like that. I don't care if people don't talk like that. I have enough of what people talk like in this world. Uh, I want people to be badass in the movie world, you know? So that's what I want. And the movie's fucking cool. Oopsie. Um, so definitely check it. I guarantee you'll like it. And all the movies that I'll be telling you guys about are badass. So uh, subscribe if you want to know about badass films and uh, I will bring it to you. <laughs> Peace out peeps, comment below. What did you think? guarantee you like it on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give this uh like an 8.5 but what's most important is it is worthy of a blu-ray 4k uh spot in your collection unlike other films that need to go to fye and or other ones that need to just go into the trash can so peeps snag it bag it it's beautiful nice little box cover he looks like a freak but hey it's nick cage he's allowed to bye bye